SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 was a game that truly set the tone for wrestling video games in the years to come. A part of that was thanks to an iconic story mode that featured engaging storylines and unique cutscenes. Today we are diving into this story mode with the father of the year, Christian, to uncover the spoils of glory this story has to offer. Let's get to it. We're thrown straight into a match with the world champion Triple H on Monday Night Raw. Being matched up with one of the toughest superstars straight out of the gate is not something that I love, but also not something I'm going to back down from. It was a battle on a random episode of Monday Night Raw, going back and forth. I don't think the world champion was prepared to be taken to his limits like he was, resulting in interference from Ric Flair. I saw what Triple H and Flair pulled last week. This crap is getting really old. You okay? I'll live, but they're not gonna get off that easy. Listen, you're good, but this is a Nimmers game. There's two of them, but one of you. Dude, you've got to even that up. What do you have in mind? Hey, I'm one of the few guys in the Raw locker room who's pinned Triple H for a three count. I don't have an intercontinental title defense tonight. So how about you and me team up and give Triple H and Flair a little payback. Sounds good to me. But what's in it for you? Anytime I step into the ring with the World Heavyweight Champ, my stock goes up. And when I hit him with the T-Bone and pin him again, I'll be that much closer to earning the World Heavyweight title match I deserve. Let's do this. Much to my delight, Shelton Benjamin has got our backs. Much to my dismay though, we are caught in the midst of a tag team match. This isn't going to be easy, and I'll be honest, going back to the controls of this game has been an adjustment to say the least. Nonetheless, we are here to compete. This match took all four competitors to their limits, with the tag team mechanics in full effect as this match was a whopping 35 minutes. After taking it on Prettier, the Evolution representatives knew they weren't going to be able to hang, so they took the coward's way out and got themselves disqualified only to delve deeper into the shenanigans post-match. Listen up, Benjamin. All I hear backstage is you running your mouth about how you pin Triple H this and you beat Triple H that. Well, the fact is, everyone knows you just got lucky. Simple as that. It was a fluke. And it's never going to happen again. Do you understand me? is right. He has beaten Triple H in the past. Fair and square. You heard Triple H, JR. It was a fluke. He says Shelton Benjamin isn't in his league, and from the looks of things, he's right. Our next match has got us going one-on-one -on -one with Ric Flair in a submission match per our request. Ric Flair has always been a tough obstacle in these story modes, but I can tell you that he is no Triple H. And for that, I'm thankful. It wasn't tense. And this game does not play around. But eventually, we were able to hit the unprettier and weaken Ric Flair to make way for our submission victory, though that was just the beginning this evening. Cena is choking the life out of 
were down, but not out. My God. I don't think this is over, JR. Not by a long shot, King. But why were those SmackDown superstars here on Raw? And what's going to happen next? Triple H really goes in on this promo, but it takes quite a while, so to save you some time, I'm going to summarize. You have been warned. I am the game, and this is the Nature Boy. Space Mountain is closed for repairs, and the desperate housewives will cry to their fat husbands. Smackdown hurt my friend. Now I will hurt SmackDown. My Christian impression is worse than my Triple H impression, so I'll just hold off on that. We come out to point out the hypocrisy of Triple H's position, and Triple H responds that this is different and doesn't involve SmackDown. Eric Bischoff then appears and announces a SummerSlam match that will consist of Triple H and I taking on what I can only assume would be John Cena and Big Show. Eric Bischoff wants us to head to SmackDown, but that was already in Triple H's plans. Triple H wants nothing to do with us, but we are clearly still going to be involved. Triple H and Flair in the ring right now? I, uh, am the game. Woo! And tonight, uh, I'm coming to SmackDown, uh, to find the guys who kicked my ass. Uh, and made my father, the nature boy, cry like a little girl. Woo! Say, uh, nature, uh, why do they still call you the nature boy, huh? Aren't you about 90? Maybe they should call you Father Time. But seriously, yo, no one can say that SmackDown didn't make an impact on Raw last Monday. We did just what we wanted to, and that was punk out the best that they got. Let's see now. 10 for Triple H. <laughs> 16 for Flair. Raw is never going to forget the day SmackDown took out 26 world champions in one shot. And now we're supposed to be scared because Triple H is leading a posse to SmackDown? <laughs> Please. He shows up here, he's gonna get more of the same. They can't see me. They're here. The Raw superstars are here. Here we go. This is gonna be a rocket buster. It seems that everyone is full of Triple H impressions, I guess. But SmackDown is clearly feeling confident and wanting the smoke. And you can rest assured that the father of the year can and will provide that. This was a brawl by all means, but someone has got to get pinned for this thing to end. A preview of SummerSlam was on display, and I will definitely say I will appreciate the time I have with Triple H on my team because this man is overpowered. There wasn't much that was pretty about this match, but after a couple unprettiers, we were able to secure the pinfall victory here ahead of SummerSlam. I understand why you're teaming up with Triple H tonight. John Cena and Big Show have got to be taught a lesson. And you guys owe them, but don't get too cozy with them. I'll be back on Raw tomorrow, and I've got some unfinished business with Triple H and Ric Flair that I plan to take care of. You know I respect you, and I hope you've got my back the way I had yours. But if you let them punk me out, you'll be making a big mistake. Okay, Shelton, I'll keep that in mind. But right now, I gotta focus on Cena and Show. We've arrived at the biggest party of the summer. We will be tagging up with the world champion, set to square off against two SmackDown goons in John Cena and Big Show. This clash at SummerSlam is sure to be a classic as the fate of each brand hangs in the balance of this two-week feud. Triple H has proven to be a valuable ally, and I know we will cross paths again, so I'm happy to let him do some of the heavy lifting. John Cena made it difficult to end the match, but we were eventually able to hit the giant with another unprettier ending the match in the favor of Monday Night Raw. Just when Triple H and I were gaining some level of camaraderie, Shelton Benjamin returned to shake things up.
management. But is that still the case? I can't wait to see what's going to happen tomorrow night on Raw. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'd hate to be in Shelton Benjamin's shoes when Triple H gets his hands on him. We've got some serious things to sort out in the next episode. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.